Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be solving this problem called detect HTML tags, attributes and attribute values. Let's go through this. So this is similar to what we have done in the first one. So we have to extract tags, attributes and their values. So we will be given the co uh, with HTML code of n lines, right? And then you, you, our task is to detect and print all the HTML tags, attributes and their values. Uh, and we have to print in this fashion tag one tag two and if it is having any attribute and uh, uh, value pair name value pair then we have to represent in this fashion like this so exactly what we have done previously and uh, you can see here uh, same stuff uh, separator is uh, greater than sign and this sign is uh, telling you uh, it contains an uh, attribute and then uh, do not detect the html uh, tag attribute or value inside the html comment tags so inside comment whatever is there you don't have to detect it uh, comments can be multi-line all attributes have a attribute value so uh, here you can see the input format will be n lines html code and can be between 0 to 100 then print the html tags attributes and values in order of their occurrence from top to bottom and uh, you can see the example value of n then you have this uh, n lines for for uh, uh, html code and then you have to uh, write detect just detect the uh, uh, and print the html tag so this is a tag this is another tag tag and then this is another head tag is closing so this is uh, you don't have to uh, write this you don't have to write so only start tag you have to write okay you can see here only start tag is being written start tag is our object and then you can see this is a name value pair then you have again name name value pair name value pair so this object tag is having three attributes then you have comment and that you don't have to bother and then uh, you have a parameter uh, tag and it is having two name value pair uh, value high and uh, name quality then uh, object is being closed so you just have to detect the start tags their attributes and their values attribute values and you have to present in this fashion right so uh, the problem is the code is not given to us so we have to write on our own Whew. so let's so let me write it uh, from html dot parser import uh, what was that html parser html parser and this is what we had and uh, we defined some uh, and they have defined some class that we will be writing uh, later on uh, let me write my html uh, then uh, parser and inside that it takes argument html ml parser which we will be feeding uh, to to our uh, parser variable then we will define some class let's say define what uh, handle uh, start tag right handle uh, underscore start tag it takes argument uh, what self then uh, it takes uh, tag attributes address and we need to print we need to print the start tags in this fashion tag only right so we just have to we don't have to give any comment we just have to print tag so then likewise we'll uh, we'll follow uh, but first uh, let me instantiate so what was that parser equal to my h t m l parser so we are calling html parser class and it we are saving it to parser now parser dot feed oh so we'll be getting in n lines no 
so let me use for loop for underscore or dash in range a value of n uh, so int input and then we can feed it the input lines so input right so each time it will call for each line it will feed the parcel parser and then uh, for each line it will check whether there is any tag or attribute or not okay and uh, we can also print for a loop right and same thing what i am doing it before so for attribute in attributes uh, we can print uh, in this fashion okay so we can have the symbol now so the difference is just we have to write it from scratch so this is what we want here and then uh, uh plus right plus attribute so it here attribute name will come so a t t r 0 Similarly, plus. Then you have this right symbol. Then you have plus again. Attribute one. And this is how we have to represent. All the attributes will be uh, listed like this. here uh, the inputs are taken feed i think it is done right because in start tag only we have we just have to start print start tag and uh, their attributes and name value pairs right let me run it i think i have done it correctly html pa okay there should not be any space Mm -hmm. Okay, input. No, it is correct. Yeah, simple test case is passed. And this is how it is being written. Object width, height, everything is there. So it is having uh, one attribute type, then data, then width. and height then param is there is how it is being are done so it is taking care by itself uh, i mean what are the name value pair we just have to uh, give the format here that's all nothing else i have done and so uh, this is what uh, this problem is about slightly easier one whatever you have seen same thing i have done you can do the constraints part as well but um, i'm leaving it to you you can do on your own right let me submit it test cases are passed uh, let's move on to the next problem now